My tip for anybody that's in the real estate business is to keep a very, very strong deal file uh, with every communication essentially that goes back and forth on the deal, starting with the initial LOI all the way through the signed LOI to the lease, uh, to the signed lease, to the commission agreement, uh, the signed commission agreement. If I did not have a complete deal file, I would be forfeiting $30,000. So pretty expensive lesson to learn and I have learned it the hard way, unfortunately. prepared for a lot of a lot of no you have to be a master of time management and organization basically you want to get people into space that suits them where they can be successful it isn't just about doing a deal it's about putting a tenant or an owner into you know an area where they can be successful because let's face it these leases are usually 10-year terms with options right so you gotta be successful for that long-term span. You gotta canvas, you gotta find out what's out there, you gotta see if there are properties that really interest you because if you're excited about it, if you're passionate about it, you'll be able to portray that same passion and excitement onto um, either the, the landlord or the owner in terms of getting them to list their property with you or, or allowing them to um, bring their property to uh, maybe a couple of select investors off market. TIA, Tenant Improvement Allowance. So TIA is a contribution that the landlord makes to the tenant to provide money to help them build out their space. It's part of the negotiation process. It's usually predicated on the tenant's credit and how much rent they're paying. Um, but it goes towards the tenant's build out and it could be either in lieu of the landlord uh, doing more work or it could be on top of the landlord's work. It all depends on the tenant and the requirement and how, how much the landlord really wants to get the tenant in there. Russell, why don't you talk a little bit about <clears throat> what it is that we do at Sabre and um, let's let's really start with retail real estate. All right, so we're, we're a retail real estate shop that is uh, started and has its roots in Long Island, New York. We are focused on landlord representation, representing about 4 million square feet of retail space, as well as uh, tenant representation for national, regional, and local tenants. We represent about 50 tenants. In, in some shape or form of that of those three categories. So I will add the inspiration for starting Saber was uh, working at a you know smaller, very local uh, boutique retail company. There had to be an option that combined best practices from a boutique retail firm and the uh, best practices from a global giant like CBRE. And as I started looking for those options, I, I realized that there actually was not, and that was the inspiration to start Savers. Today, the, the three platforms that we're really gonna focus on are uh, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Facebook. I just wanted to talk about a little bit um, what types of things we could all be posting on our individual uh, social media so pages, sad. how we can interact as a group, and really like comment on each other's posts on um, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn, and then that obviously drives traffic and shows more engagement to our audience as a whole. 